family child care provider in Alameda County. And I am <coughs> one of those providers where I take care of subsidized children, but I love it. I do what I have to do from the heart. And one of my children um, that is in school age, where I was getting $574 a month, now I'm getting $174. But I still do the same care. I still feed her. I still, you know, uh, have to pay rent, you know, and all, all those other things that add up and take care of my uh, children that come to me. Been doing this for 30 years, and it's something that I'm not going to uh, give up on, you know, because it's become a part of my life. These children come to me, they become a part of my family. I stand here because these parents, I don't want to go to them and say, I need more money. I don't want to do that. But I know Alameda County, you, you all hear me. You get what I'm saying. My thing is trying to get Sacramento to get what I'm saying. I'm there, I go, I travel up there. But I yet have to take money out of my pocket to get up there to Sacramento and let them know what's going on. We need to let them know that children, parents are hurting. Even those who take care of those children are hurting. Yes, we thought it's going to be better because our president said it's going to get better. But it's not getting better. It's getting harder. It's getting harder because I have to look into those children's eyes and say, I don't know how I, I can do this. But it's because of love, commitment, dedication that I put myself on the line to give the best I can to let them know that it's going to be okay if you're with Miss Martha or as they call me, Granny. They're with me. Because I want to make certain that. I'm going to do the best kind of care that I've been doing. Yes, it's hard to see so many of our children and parents get these cuts. But we have to keep doing the same thing we're doing. Keep doing the same thing. Letting them know that each one of them, may, we may be looking at the next president, or may do the, le the next legislature, or the next whatever. But we've got to do better in trying to see what can we do to dig down farther to make certain that these cuts don't come anymore. I brought some children last time to an Alameda with all these bandages on them because they were bleeding, really bleeding from inside. And now they're bleeding on the outside, wondering what's going to happen. I don't want to see these parents take the children out of our licensed family child care home and take them home and leave them at home. It could be what you'd be hearing about that child got stabbed and killed. We don't know what their future's going to hold. Each one of these children are important to us. So let's do something. Together we can make a difference. Together we can say, we're going to do this. But if we stand for that minute, tore up, um, all messed up, it's not going to help. I love them. I love those parents because they see hope. I'm their hope. And I will continue to be their hope if you allow me to. I'm only one child care provider. There's over 1,600 of us in this county. They feel the way I feel, and I know they do because we have became their uh, extended family. We're at hope. And that's where I stand right now. So I think my three minutes is up, but I'm speaking <laughs> from my heart. I should have wrote something down, but I didn't have time because I was taking care of those kids. <laughs> so,